Hey all, this video is the first in a mini-series tailored for early to mid-game players to help them make wise choices with their allotment of free in-game currency so they don't get stuck down the road. It can also be helpful to refocus players who are already stuck. It is especially beneficial to free-to-play players who will rarely or never spend money on crystal packs or character packs and whose choices are therefore higher stakes because they don't want to have to buy their way out of a disappointing character set. Now, this game is designed to make some characters go out of date so that Capital Games can sell newer, more powerful characters to sustain their business. So the characters that may be great picks now may not be great picks a year from now. And in fact, there are some characters that were once great in this game but that did not make the cut for this video series. However, there have been some characters that have been pretty solid throughout and some characters that have been pretty lame throughout, and I've put a lot of thought and research into identifying those for you and narrowing down the possibilities. Another thing you need to accept is that you can't simply focus on the characters who will be the most powerful when you are level 85. You won't be able to unlock them without investing in other characters first. Unfortunately, a lot of advice out there fails to understand that. They may say to, you know, farm Darth Sion as soon as you can because he's the best dark side tank in the game, but you simply won't have access to him and other top tier characters until much, much later. And to get to that point, you will have to invest in other characters first. And some of those characters won't be useful very often late in the game, unfortunately. But the advice I give in my farming guides, faction guides, and store guides is specifically tailored so you only invest in characters whose usefulness will fade in the late game when you must do so. And I will also let you know when a character who is available early will still be useful later on. Those are many of my top picks. And of course, I'll tell you who won't be very useful in the game at all so you can avoid them. Even if you do farm characters who are quote unquote mistakes, you can still use them to fill platoons in territory battles, so at least they're useful somewhere. But I'm gonna help you make as few of those mistakes as possible. When we talk about farming characters, we're talking about using your free allotment of energy and cantina energy that you get from Capital Games to get character shards that can unlock and increase the star level of your characters all the way up to the current maximum of seven stars. Promotion across star levels also requires credits. You can see just how many you need for each star level here in the table. Now energy, that yellow lightning bolt, is used in light side and dark side battles, with wins in the hard nodes providing a chance at character shards. Similarly, cantina energy, the orange lightning bolt, is used in the cantina battles to earn character shards. Later in the game, you also use ship energy for fleet battles. You automatically accrue one point of energy every six minutes and one point each of cantina energy and ship energy every 12 minutes as long as that particular type of energy is not already maxed out. You earn energies this way whether or not you have the game open. Again, this energy accumulation stops every time you hit your maximum and does not resume until your total falls below your maximum. So you will need to log in periodically to spend your energies so you can keep accruing them. You should also log in the three times per day when you get 45 to 90 additional bonus energies, if and only if you log in and claim it within the specified two hour windows via the green quest button. These three times are the same each day, although daylight savings time shifts them ahead in the spring and back in the fall. Making major progress in this game takes many months, and you will still have missing and weak characters and ships after years of play. So if you want to progress at anything but a glacial pace, you really need to log in and claim your free energies at almost every opportunity. By default, the game sends notifications to your phone saying you have bonus energy available, so try to claim that energy almost every time. For those of you who are brand new to the game, note that you don't get character shards every single time you fight or use a sim ticket on a level. You can expect a character shard every 3-5 to five rolls on average, but your drop rates will vary widely day to day and even week to week. Don't get frustrated when the payout is low. It will be high sometimes too. Now there's some mistakes you can make when you're farming and I want you to avoid the biggest ones. Okay, now it may be very tempting to want every character and to try and unlock them all and invest in them evenly, but that is very, very bad. Stretching your resources too thinly is death in this game. Your progress will grind to a halt. So you have to make many wise choices in this game. 
You have to resist the temptation to get all sorts of characters, concentrate your effort on fewer characters that are most important, and be patient and persistent. Things are gonna happen and you're gonna go, oh my God, I think I need these characters now. Calm down, stick to your plan. If you still feel that way weeks later, then change course. Otherwise, you'll probably be a lot happier knowing that you stuck to your plan and you'll be more successful in the game. So what does that mean? That means that on the whole, having fewer characters at higher star levels is better than having a whole bunch more characters at lower star levels. It also means that having some characters at higher gear tiers is better than not having any characters at higher gear tiers and having a bunch at lower gear tiers. It also means that focusing on a few very strong factions or classes in the game is better than having characters spread evenly across all of the factions, assuming you pick the right ones to concentrate on. But I'll give you that advice on which ones you need. Now the next biggest mistake to spreading your resources too thin is doing the opposite and focusing just on a very few characters, period. The problem with that is it precludes you from obtaining certain character and ship shards, mods, gear, and other currencies besides those three energies. And there are many of those. Okay, and earning these other currencies require you to participate in the game in some way. You don't get them automatically, and you are going to need certain characters to get some of them. And you're going to need to get certain characters with them. But you can get a steady stream of all of these currencies if you have the right portfolio of teams and put in at least a decent amount of time into the game on a daily basis. Again, if you had teams who were either too weak or you had very few characters, you'd also lose out on XP, sim tickets, and additional equipment used to level up and enhance the abilities of characters and ships. And gosh, there are a lot of icons in this game. Now, to get all of these things in sufficient quantities, you want a Goldilocks balance of breadth and depth across characters, where you have who you need for key events and you have them just strong enough to beat those key events, but you otherwise focus the rest of your energy on one or two squads who are much stronger than the rest. This balance is hard, and almost nobody, even players like me who've been playing the game since late 2015 and have been analyzing it closely along the way, get it right all of the time. But in the next videos in this series, I will help you to improve your chances by making better decisions, especially by focusing on characters who can be helpful in multiple aspects of the game. So thanks for watching this intro video and let me know what you think of it by clicking like or dislike. Next, you should watch the farming guides for light and dark side battles and cantina battles. After that, check out the faction guide videos and store guide videos.